Hello everyone, this time for welcome to this video update that I said I was going to be doing and now we're going to be doing. Uh, so, first, the elephant in the room, what happened. Like I said kind of in the last video, I kind of just lost interest for a little bit. Um, when we got towards the end of those series, I kind of felt like I was just forcing out more content a little bit. So, uh, I had fun, I had a ton of fun with them. Like, uh, Technode Firmacraft, around, what episode did we get up to? I think we almost got to 40. Around like 25 was that one's peak. I was really looking forward to coming back and doing the next thing. And with, um, with Affinity Evolved, that peaked at like 50. I was, I kept going and then it just got to the point where I was AFKing forever. And that kind of lost my interest in that. But coming back, especially to this world and seeing stuff that I've done in here and just the fact that I haven't let this world I haven't released this yet and it's yeah, like it's, I've, I don't know just just seeing this again and seeing how much I've put into this and how creative I was when making this wants wants me to be this creative again I want to do more stuff like this because this was a ton of fun to make it was literally me sitting here at like 11 o'clock at night being like okay what's a silly thing I can add to this and just keep adding on until this this whole map came through. If you don't know what this map is, uh, there's actually a logo. I could show you the, the logo I made for it. It's kind of dark. Da, 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 da. Ooh. Uh, it's a two-player map. So each person, essentially, imagine each person on the different side of this line. There's some points when you play together. some points when you do separate things. And like this, The I call it the, the first climb. We gotta climb up this huge tower while like helping each other out by clearing paths and stuff. It's pretty neat. And there's just some trolley things like these plates that just, you you have you gotta have fun with it. It's 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 intended for you to play with a friend, and you just you just have fun. Um, but like stuff like that, I want to do more stuff like this. I I want to find a way I can be creative, and I also really like to play modded because. That's allows me to be a little bit more creative while still having some kind of end goal. Like with map making, there's not really an end goal except to just make it fun. Like with this map, um, I added this this last puzzle over here. This is actually the the very last uh, puzzle of the whole thing. It's actually really hard. It's a really hard puzzle to figure out just because there's so much and so much backtracking. Uh, so then I'm like, okay, this is a this is hard. I'm, I'm just gonna make this last puzzle. It it basically introduces a brand new concept, and then uses it, and then it, that's the end. Like, there's this room, but uh, spoilers, you don't actually do this room. It's just to look intimidating. So this is not really an end goal, except to make some fun stuff and then be done. Unless you're doing a story based map, because this map isn't super story based. And when you do a story based map. Because like when I was doing the story for this, you spend a lot of time just on story aspects. Oops, I'm going to do this. Uh, like this whole line of command blocks, which there's a lot of command blocks here. It's going to take a long time to type. This is just dialogue. This is the characters telling you essentially what you're doing. This whole thing over here, this whole mess of this big line is also just dialogue. Um... So a lot of it's just dialogue. That whole line's dialogue. This was all copied and pasted, but this was all hand typed. Uh, this was actually all hand typed too. This was crazy hard, but it's worth it. Um, so a lot of this, you do story based things. You get a lot of, you see all these dialogue. Uh, you get a lot of that, and you spend a lot of time making things look nice instead of coming up with cool mechanics and interesting puzzles. I prefer coming up with cool mechanics and interesting puzzles. Honestly, uh, like this room right here, this room is just, it's literally just six separate puzzles. Um, and I, I like doing that, I just coming up with stuff like that and not worrying about how it looks, just worrying about, you know, coming up with new things. And I want to be able to do that. So uh, that's where I am in terms of this game. I like doing things, make it look, I, I like making things look pretty too. Uh, but functionally aesthetic, um, like all these colors and everything, 
that actually has a purpose. The fact that all these wires look cool, like back here. Ooh, this looks pretty, but that's because it has a purpose. Like, I, I like functional aesthetics. So, moving on from that, now, now that you're up to speed a little bit, where do we go from here? Uh, I want to do some new series. So, so what? Uh, here, here are my thoughts, and I, obviously I want to hear what you have to say about this. My thoughts, um, at least one modded series. So what that means is I'm open to doing an actual vanilla Minecraft survival because we're on to like Minecraft 111, 112 or something, and there's so much that's been added to the game at this point that I actually haven't done in survival yet. The last time I, see, the last time I played survival and got to the dragon was probably around 1.5. Well, last time I played survival in general was around 1.5. Last time I got to the dragon was probably before that. Actually, I don't even know. Uh, so doing a survival series could be pretty fun. And we'd be doing it the latest version. Lots of new stuff I don't know. Lots of new mechanics. Um, and lots of fun redstone things we can do with all the, the new technology. I think there's the observer blocks and... Uh, what are those things called? Shulker boxes? Shulker boxes? Those could be fun. Uh, so modded, in terms of modded, I liked the hard, the hard mode. That hard mode was fun because it gave you an end goal. You work towards that in your own way, and you end up like mass producing. I, I like that mass producing aspect, setting things up to automate and figuring out how to get them to work so that it, you just leave it and go work on the next thing to automate. Not necessarily AFK, but work on the next thing to automate. Uh, and I also want to try out some some later mod packs. Uh, later mod packs. I've been playing a lot of uh, 1.7 modded, which was really the last big uh, modded version. Uh, I know there's a lot of 1.10 packs coming out now. Uh, the big one I was looking at was actually Sky Factory 3. And you're like, oh, that's, that's so easy, though. I'm thinking a Sky Factory 3 one chunk challenge. And if possible, I don't know if this would actually work. I haven't played Sky Factory 3, so I don't know if there's especially multi-block structures that wouldn't fit. What about a Sky Factory 3 quarter chunk challenge? So instead of a 16 by 16, you get an 8 by 8. That's a quarter of the area. Uh, just squeeze as much as I can into a tiny space. Um, not sure if that would... Act there, goes the, there goes the red. This goes making the floor for the redstone puzzle over there. Uh, not sure if that actually be possible, if there's like a, a multi-block structure that's bigger than that that wouldn't fit. Maybe, I don't know. I've heard uh, another hard mode thing is uh, Project Ozone Kappa mode. And the thing about that is it's a 1.7 pack also, but it's a, it's a new 1.7 pack. So potentially that could be something. I know it relies a lot more on uh the qed and the set the lasers and it's a skyblock too so i don't know i don't know again I, also i don't know how long these would take so maybe uh sky factory would take like only five episodes or something not five only a couple like maybe less than 20 so we have both of those we can do uh another another option which is actually something i'm probably going to do anyway is FTB is releasing a new speedrun pack for FTB Beyond that is just a bunch of speed... It's a, it's a speedrun map, actually, that it starts you off in a world and you have a bunch of objectives and you got to complete them. The estimated time for completion is, like, less than three hours. So what I'm thinking I'll do with that is when it first comes out, which is a, what should be in a couple days, I'll do my first playthrough. I'll do a nice series, do my first playthrough, basically, like... um. Like I do my regular series, there'll be nice commentary and me trying to figure out what to do next. And I'll be very unfocused. I won't be trying to speedrun, I'll be trying to learn it. And then later we can come back to it once I've learned it. And you can see the stark contrast between here I am trying to figure it out and here I am once I know what I'm doing. Like optimizing my running between things, that kind of thing. I think that'd be pretty neat. Uh, other than that, I think those are the, the main things I wanted to talk about. We have we have Vanilla, we have Set Factory 3, one chunk or potentially a quarter chunk. Uh, 
Project Ozone Kappa mode. We could also do that one chunk, potentially. Why not? Why not make it harder? And, but again, like multi-block structures are the big thing. If there's a multi-block structure that requires bigger space, then you can't actually do one chunk, but I could make exceptions for that. If I could just like say, stay in this chunk unless you need a multi-block that's bigger than that. Um, so, and then we have the, the speed run pack and those new series should uh, get me back into it. I also want to release this map. Uh, I have and, and have some people that I think I want to ask if they want to try it because it's it's been through two beta tests now, and I think I've worked out all the bugs. I actually just fixed the bug right now because I entirely broke this puzzle by flying into it. Weird, right? Like I just approached it and the whole thing exploded because you're supposed to go through the doors. Um, but I want to release it because it's it's a fun. It's it's basically it's supposed to be a fun fun map that you just play with a friend. And you just have some fun with it. So I, I'd, I'd like to do that. So yeah, let, let me know what you think down below. I'm, I'm, I really I really want to know. Let me give me stuff to read. Um, other than that, assuming that the speed run pack doesn't take too long to come out, I think that's what I'm going to do first because that's a nice short series. And that I will release a video of that this week, assuming it comes out. And then based on your feedback, we'll see what happens next week with, with another series I want to start. So that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry about disappearing for like a month. But we're back. We're ready to go. I'm excited. Let's do this. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye-bye.